This method of setting your hydraulic flat tap at Chevrolet lifters is the standard method with an added verification I have come up with to verify that the lifter is the center of its travel. The verification can only be accomplished if the intake manifold is removed. With the verification you know for a fact the pushrod seat is in the center of its travel. The process is written out at the end of the video so you can print screen the image and print it off as needed. Old intake gaskets with masking tape on them work well for laying out the cylinder numbers and also which rocker arm is the intake and which is the exhaust. The rocker arm adjusting nuts for small block Chevy are 5 8 inch. A deep well socket and a half inch ratchet works best for this adjustment. You can see the black timing mark on the harmonic balancer. A little black sharpie or white stopestone will work to help you see it better when timing your vehicle. Turn the engine until the line on the harmonic balancer lines up with the zero on the timing tab. While doing this, keep an eye on the number one cylinder lifters. They should not move so the valves would be closed and the engine in its compression stroke and getting ready to fire. Look through the number one cylinder spark plug hole to verify that the number one piston is at top dead center. Left front cylinder is number one when sitting in the vehicle. If you cannot see the spark plug hole, you can use a fine thin screwdriver to verify the piston is there. Be careful not to drop it inside. If the piston is not at top dead center, and don't turn the engine over with the screwdriver in the spark plug hole. This is a cutaway of the Chevy hydraulic lifter. Key note is the measurement of 20 thousandths of an inch to 60 thousandths of an inch. That is the travel of the push rod seat which means the lifter needs to be within that tolerance. If less than 20 thousandths inch, the lifter will click and clack. If over 60 thousandths of an inch, you will bend the push rods. This is a tool I made. It's 16th inch stainless heliarc wire. I bend it at 90 degree angle, hammer the tip of it until I reach the dimension I want to set the lifters at. I verify the measurement with a micrometer as you can see, mine is at about 44 and a half thousandths of an inch. With all the rocker arms loose and turned sideways, I install the push rods for all of the cylinders, then turn the rocker arms in position on the push rod. Some adjusting nuts may have to be loosened further to get the rocker arms all on depending upon their lifter position on top of the cam load, for example. Now we are on the compression stroke of number one cylinder. So exhaust valves 1, 3, 4, and 8 and intake valves 1, 2, 5, and 7 can be adjusted at this time. Lifting vertically and spinning the push rod of the valve you want to adjust between your thumb and index fingers slowly tighten the adjusting nut clockwise until the free play is gone then turn the adjusting nut one full turn clockwise this will put the push rod seat into the center of its travel
after all the lifters have been adjusted with the engine in the number one cylinder compression stroke, you can go through and verify they are adjusted correctly with the Heliarc wire gauge and make slight final adjustments as needed. Here is a close up of inserting the Heliarc wire gauge between the pushrod seat and the snap ring. Now turn the engine over 360 degrees and again line up the timing mark on the harmonic balancer with the zero on the timing tab. Now we are on the compression stroke of number six cylinder. So exhaust valves two, five, six, and seven, and intake valves three, four, six, and eight can be adjusted at this time. Again, lifting vertically and spinning the push rod of the valve you want to adjust between your thumb and index finger, slowly tighten the adjusting nut clockwise again until the free play is gone. Then turn the adjusting nut one more full turn clockwise. After all the lifters have been adjusted with the engine in the number six cylinder compression stroke, you can go through and verify they are adjusted correctly again with the Heliarc wired gauge. And again, make slight final adjustments as needed. After completing the lifter adjustment, remember to turn the engine over 360 degrees prior to distributor installation or the distributor will be 180 degrees off from where you want it. That would mean the cylinder number six would be in the firing position or compression stroke instead of cylinder number one. 